Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dang. So today I'm actually at a little private workshop owned by Suckland Inc. Um, the owners are Mr. Dune right here. Oh, and then Graham. Um, so we're gonna do. Oh, and then there's also Ryan Goslin, Mr. Goslin, their dog, cute. Um, so they have their little private workshop in their what's place? Condo. Yeah, condo. Yeah, yeah. condo. Sorry. Their their little condo. And what we're gonna do is, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make something like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we're so gonna put succulents inside, right? Exactly. Yeah. But first, we're gonna make one. Okay. And then we're gonna use one that we've already made. Okay. And plant a succulent in it. Okay. And that's part of the workshop. Oh wow! So step one, make. Step two, put your plant in it. Because I'm pretty new to that. Like I just put things in pots and. Uh huh. So it's your first time actually making them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this will be a fun experience. Okay. Like I said, we've taught lots. Mm -hmm. Most people have not worked with any type of material like concrete or plaster. But mm -hmm. luckily we have, so I can walk you through all the steps. Okay. The only expectation for me of you is to have fun. Right. There really is no mistakes that can't be fixed. Too much water, we just add more concrete. Not enough concrete, we'll just add more water. All right. So everything works out just fine. Um, tonight, for you, is going to be a night of making decisions. Why, why decisions? Well, because you have to you have to pick which shape you want, which mm. shape you want to make up. Do you want to do a white? Do you want to do gray? Which color would you like your pot to be? Oh. Do you want it a solid color? Do you want it marbled? And at the end, it's what succulent you want to put into it. Oh, okay. Well, your collection probably is bigger than the <laughs> we have for you this evening. I'm, I'm pretty but well with anything. Maybe you can like, it's fine. gift it to a friend. Um, my friend's off. <laughs> Well, at any rate, we'll just uh, we'll get started. So the first one okay. is really, so your first decision is which shape would you like? Uh, okay. So there's quite a few shapes actually that we have. And so this is just a fraction of it. I'm excited. So there's, there's lots and lots and lots. I like these. I like this one. This one's cool too. Yeah, so we have like more like gauze ones. We have smaller triangle ones. These are cool too. Yeah, so this is how we advertise in the local area. So we just go to a local store and we ask them if their staff want to attend a workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, and in trade, we get to put this in the restaurant or their gym or their dog store. I think it's a pretty good idea, especially like in uh, downtown areas where they don't have that much space versus like where I live, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's cute. It sits on their front yeah, it's, counter um, by the cash register or their front window. What's that word called? Uh, I don't remember the word. I but it looks, it looks really nice. <laughs> no, it, it looks really nice. It's um, words I can't remember. I'm sorry. No, um, it's okay. Words yeah. are tricky. Words are very tricky, sorry. So we have one series, and it's very, very angular. So it's all of these, and then there's a few shapes. There's also like a mystery shape, if you feel up to it, which is a combination. Actually, you have a picture on your phone. You don't need to, to, to work. But it's, it's a mystery shape. Well, it wouldn't be a mystery <laughs> shape if you showed the picture. <laughs> it's a mystery shape. I think shape. what I tell you is it's come from this series. Yeah, so this is but this is like the uh, same series. Mm -hmm. Um. One more from. I think it looks awesome. We do. Oh, it's it's a little bit bigger actually. So okay. instead of this I being like a sphere shape. Yeah. No, I actually have two. It's not here. Just want to get your picture. Maybe we'll just make. No, no. Yeah. Okay, it's now. So this is like what it is. It's like. Can you see the shape in that? I I can see it. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're better than I am. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. Uh, so we have this one. Mm -hmm. This one is not. It's like that, but it's like this yeah. way it goes out. And then we have this one. It's like less, mm -hmm. less side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty much like all the different. That looks cool. Yeah. 
All right. Um, so this is your first decision. What shape would you like to make? I, I'll go with this. Okay. I'm, I'm a basic person when it comes to shapes. Okay. Very basic. Well, that's one uh, of our newer shapes. Like yeah, I've, I've pretty much thrown out all my terracotta pots for plastic square pots. I, I just order like <laughs> just a kind of from China. Yeah, because um, they're more they save more space. I know, like yeah. like mine's over there. I just yeah. I feel I can put like maybe twice more out there. Did you find when you switched over to the square ones that you're able to put like way more on each? Oh shelf? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it really a, a lot, a lot out. more. Sorry, a lot like a lot more. Um, when I switch over to square space because it saves so much space, right? Uh -huh. um, versus having terracotta pots where it, it's it's just a waste of space and it's like a lot heavier too. Um, mm -hmm. So tell the uh, people on the YouTube how do you guys get started. Mr. Dune? Uh, I guess because we, I kind of already started making those about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So we just make, I think these this two are the first two we have. Those were the originals. Yeah, that's the original we have. So we just made some at home. We just, for ourselves, because I have so many plants. And then you just can't stop yourself getting different shapes. <laughs> yeah. Getting different, um, uh, yeah. And then we start trying to make different colors, different, um, yeah, different colors. Mm -hmm. I guess it really started from like when we go to Vancouver and then we did this experience thing and the person said, oh, maybe you guys should do your own experience. Yeah. So we so just started, we yeah, so we just started doing our own experience. And we have a store that already sells these, these molds. Mm -hmm. So we thought, why don't we just take some of our own inventory Mm -hmm. and the hobby that we have with succulents and yeah. put the idea together and my background working in the laboratory with stone and concrete and plaster we'll just put it together mm -hmm. so it's been a very popular workshop um yeah i don't know what else to say that's how it started yeah well yeah. i guess let's get started um yeah uh yeah last year because like it was winter time and i didn't know what else <laughs> to do so i just did live stream every single weekend yeah. Um, and before that, I actually did gaming live streaming mm. as well. So it's, it's. I guess it's easy for me to do. I guess gaming, you have to be focused. Yeah. And did you have to be able to like carry a conversation? You do. You gotta and do, do what juggle. You're doing. Exactly. I yeah. would not be able to do that. You gotta juggle both at the same time, and then sometimes I tell them like, "This guy, stop talking. Here, I gotta, I gotta concentrate. I gotta focus here. I gotta focus and play." Mm -hmm. uh, so of these shapes. So this is the one that you're going to make, right? Mm -hmm. Which one do you want to put a succulent in tonight? I don't know. You actually get two. What? So one you make. So you make one, one. then oh. you, you put a plant in tonight. Because these typically take like 20, 20 hours. 24 hours to dry and then oh. when you take it out, it's enough. Okay. I don't know. Um, any of these ones? Uh, do you have any others in there? I, I use a square. I yeah, I have different square. ones. Not shapes, but different, um, different colorings. So I totally this three really the same, but that's yeah. That's and then the stairs are the same, and this is part of this series. Okay, um, I'll go with the stairs because I like the squares. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Put yeah. it together. Which yeah. one would you like? The white, the gray, or the copper marbly? Yeah, I find, I mean, I think I guess doing terracotta pots because I was like new to it and then everybody's like, oh, terracotta pots, clay pots, those are the best, you know, so you buy a bunch of them and then later on when you invest in a bigger collection, it's like, I have no space. Mm -hmm. And then transferring everything back and forth mm -hmm. takes a long time and it's a lot heavier too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Much, much heavier. Much, They're very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. What size hands are you? Small, medium, or large? Medium. Medium? Okay. Oh, Take so it on Um, And then I just went ahead and bought um, my trays for my cellar and tons of pots and started slowly. Oop. Nope, I guess I'm a large. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. 
we've got all different My hands are large yeah. hands. Um, yeah, and then I just started like slowly moving them over to plastic pots, and mm -hmm. they're much much better and easier. And dead. And lighter, like your racks on bow. Oh yeah, 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 much much lighter. It's my hands are gigantic. I need extra large gloves for this one. No, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah, my hands are large. <laughs> he doesn't like being home alone, but it's just the reality in which we live. He's also younger, right? Yeah. Fortunate for us, I work from home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's able to be my little, be my little office buddy. Oh, nice. So. This is a this is a special concrete. Okay. So it is it is a bone white concrete. So mm -hmm. it's it's actually it's not made out of people, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never have any reviews because we have to kill the people after they're done the workshop. Oh, no. So it's it's, it's like a, that's not. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Uh, the nearest supplier to this one is actually Mississauga, just mm -hmm. north of the airport called Form and Support mm -hmm. Limited. So they mainly do like big construction sites. So yeah. you can buy like a smaller 10 pound bucket of this online, but it's almost the same price as buying a 50 pound bag at oh, the neat. local store. So we just buy a few hundred pounds of it because the workshops are quite popular. Mm -hmm. So we've just been buying bulk, big, big bulk. All right, so here are the tools of the trade. You have your concrete, you have your yep. apron, oh. so we're going to put on the apron, Here's you have your apron. spatula, okay. Captain. and then um, we have our water, that's the other thing that we need. Uh, this is pretty much it, I'm going to get a few other things set up, while I'm doing that you're going to decide which color you would like. Oh I like red. Oh you've already got it, so good. Well red, that's my favorite color. So. Okay, so there's two different types, <laughs> I think. Actually, I think the, the, I guess the cover is kind of red. Oh, that's that one red on the bottom. That's fine. It's like, oh, yeah. like a few Malo. Malo. Uh -huh. like Malo. Uh-huh. Oh. Like a shiny one. Neat. Mm -hmm. Now, all the colors come out muted. Yeah. Because you're mixing it with such a large volume of white. Mm-hmm. But we can try our best to get the biggest punch of color in there when we're going for that marbling. Kind of like this. So this is liquid fire. Wow, so it cool. did soften a little bit. Right. But it does it does stay true to its form. So mm -hmm. how long, when did you guys start at this? August. This August? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. So I say we have had 60 people. Oh, we're wow. Busy. It's been a lot of fun though. Like, I like meeting new people. Um, my old job was traveling the country talking to people. Right. So it could be a room of 12 or an audience of a few thousand. That's what it was. Oh, neat. Um, so this is right within the forte. And then Dune has a pretty good knowledge of succulents, how to take care of them, etc. I mean, just when you care enough. And you know. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you like I, learn, oh, this is not what I need to do. Yeah, that's not what I tell people. Like, your yeah. first few seconds is your, your uh -huh. guinea pig. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. Kill as much as you want, kill as yeah. much as you can, right? The ones that die. Yeah. Eventually. Right? And then learn from it. Like, because I have a lot I have a lot of people who like always message me. It's like, oh my god, it's my first second and I'm killing him. Like, good. Welcome to that. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, how can you say that? I'm like, because I can uh -huh. and I did. Everyone has to get that badge first. Yeah, they do. And um, then once they've killed it, they're like, all right, now you know not to water them every day. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's what I always tell people. Just kill your first few seconds. Yeah. Buy them at like cheap cost. Learn how to take care of them. Yeah, yeah. Walmart go for the can entire your local nursery. Yeah, and don't care too much for it. Right? Yeah, they're all around the similar price point. Yes, yeah. but there's still people who weep. <laughs> okay, so we decided on the color. Um, sure, I'll go with this. Is it Merlot? Uh, no. Are you sure? Imperial. Imperial. Locked in? Yes. Uh, I like my reds. 
What color? I like my reds. Um, I used to love blue. Yeah, I don't know. Like blue. Red. Yeah, I don't know. Blue. Yeah, blue. But everybody likes blue. I'm gonna do more black. Yeah, I've seen a lot so of the these, yeah, yeah, these are our, our more popular. The um, Merlot is also pretty popular, and that one seems to be going well as well. Oh, nice. Well, luckily, he hasn't chewed your stuff yet. Your okay. He's actually really good. He doesn't, like, this plug, he'll be fine. Yeah, he That's really good. don't chew my stuff well, except for shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shoes are his weakness. There he goes. There he goes. Leave, Leave it. it. Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> He's like, okay, sorry guys. Gazan? Gazan, what's that? What is that? It's your dinner. Gazan, come here. What's that? Alright, so I'm going to show you how to mix it. Okay. So we're actually going to be mixing our concrete first. And then we're going to be mixing the pigment. Okay. And then we're going to use something called an oscillator, which is just a giant vibrator. And it's going to be removing as many air bubbles as possible. Mm -hmm. And then we pour it into our shape that we've selected. Nice. Which we've done already. So. Kind of like baking a cake, you just don't want to get stirring all the flour. You want to be mixing in some egg or oil or whatever first. So this is, when you when you add the water, it's a nice soft squeeze. And then your spatula goes down to the bottom and a twist and back up. So down to the bottom, twist back up. Down to the bottom, twist back up. Okay. So you just repeat that. So I'm going to start adding in water. And it's a lot more water than you would expect. This concrete is very thirsty. Mm. It's like most people. <laughs> <clears throat> and then, so it's just a matter of up and down, up and down. And the consistency you're looking for is like yogurt. Okay. So you can see right now, almost all the water has been absorbed. And it's kind of like cottage cheese, a little bit chunky. So that's when I'm just going to be adding in some more water here. Awesome. Yeah. Right, there he goes. He's clever, he just wants that shoelace. Awesome. Yeah. And then once you kind of have it mixed together well, all the concrete's had some water on it, then you'll start to see that consistency smooth out and become more and more like yogurt. And about this stage, you can start doing this. I'm getting the bottom. Still a little thick. He's pretty persistent, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> is your cat that way? No, my cat is uh, very docile. Uh, he just wants love. Aww. He does not do anything except for wants love. So he loves cuddles? Oh yeah. He loves cuddles, scratches. Uh, he'll follow me wherever I go. Is like your little shadow? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's worse when I'm like gone away for a long time. Then I'll, when I come back, he's with me like every single moment. And he'll talk to me nonstop. Oh, he's vocal? Very vocal, yeah. Oh. It's like, it's only when he wants love. Or when he misses <laughs> me a lot, he'll just, he'll just tell me, hey, When he's decided it's not time for some cuddles? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's kind of like the consistency like cool. oatmeal at an orphanage. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. That's kind of what you want. Okay? Okay. So mine's okay. done. Okay. And now it's just up to you and Dune. Okay. To do yours. Okay. And we have a cloth on the table for good reason. Yep. Because even the instructor makes a mess and that's yep. what Uh How much water do I put in? So probably 25% for your first and give, give that a good twist and mix. Okay. And then you can just be adding more and more water, uh, small amounts of time until you get to this consistency. I think that's good enough. Mm, no, it's like, probably, probably it's good. It's been a while since I've done like arts and crafts stuff, so... Not alone. A lot of people I've... say that at the beginning, and I think that's their caveat for me. And I'm an like, artistic person. <laughs> I think this is too dry. Yeah, probably need more. Like, I think I usually end up at like half mark. Dude, 
do to do. Mm -hmm. So today with Thang, we're we're mixing concrete. Um, I think I'm messing this up, but that's okay. Life is a mess anyway. So definitely more water. Hi. I think yours is getting there. Close. Yeah, getting close. I thought I added enough. Okay, I think that's good enough. Scratching the box. It's in the box. I'm sorry. Do you want your marbling vivid or very like kind of wispy? Surprise me. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the bottom of mine is like getting really hard and vivid. So that's where you'll put your spatula down and kind of give a little wiggle and break it up and kind of like pop it up. If you need help, do it right and give you uh, a hand as well. Yeah, so much better. It's also why I don't cook. No? No. <laughs> I don't cook. It's kind of like the same thing. You can just add more of whatever you need. Chemistry. Except for salt. If you add too much salt, the dish is done. Yeah. I've done it a few times, and that's where doing just play. It's just water. A little bit salty. Extremely like, salty. What do you guys think? It's come along. Mm. Just a little bit. I think a little bit more. Water? Yeah. Okay. I think I need more. So Dune, when did you start collecting succulents? Or what made you start collecting succulents? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Like maybe two years ago. Okay. Maybe what summer? What inspired you to co collect succulents? Uh, uh, they're just cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think farmer because they're cute. Be friends for other plants. Like, yeah. Like very chubby. Yeah. I think like <clears throat> my favorites, like those chubby ones. Mm hmm. I know I have like some very ugly ones. I don't like them anymore. They're not but, that ugly. But I can just throw them away. Yes, you can. I throw them off my balcony all the time. Really? <laughs> all the time, yeah. The ones I don't like, they come off the balcony. Uh, What's below your balcony? Nothing. Oh. Because we have like the main door is the hot tub. Oh. There's a few things below. Yeah, it's, it's just a field of like grass, so uh, just, I just so throw it can... off. Really? Yeah. I do, I used to do like a live stream on Instagram, right, at nighttime. Uh -huh. And then I just throw them off the balcony. People are like, oh my god, uh -huh. stop doing it, I want them. I'm like, nah, it's like, whatever, I don't care. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have people. I, I've had a few people. Your back balcony. Yeah, I've had a few people that are like, yeah, I'm gonna camp at your like, oh my god, stop, please. Like, uh -huh. No, but I only throw away like the cheap stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess your good stuff that you bring in from other countries to kind of hang on to. I do, yeah, um, I do. You have a lot. Of I, guess. I, I guess now I do. <laughs> yeah. When did you start to like up your succulent game? Um, this year actually, um, December of last year. I wanted to get something from eBay and I just bought it from eBay and then I just start importing more and more and more in. Just buy more and more and more. Mm. This, this is and now enough. you're becoming the reseller. Yes, I yeah, it's because people ask me, I can I buy your stuff? I'm like, but this is for me. So um, I just decided just to resell now. It's a good business. It is. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people are trying to get into it as well. Yeah. Well so. you can't 
You can't keep everyone out, but it's oh, an you opportunity can. for yourself. Oh, yes? Oh, you can. <laughs> oh. Like, it's kind of like us. It's like, we can't do this just to feed our own, like, expense of buying the modes. Mm -hmm. Because the modes are actually quite expensive to yeah. buy. So it's like, if we just buy the mode we use by ourselves, it's like, kind of wasted. I would never do it. I would never have him. Awesome. Soon. He's so cute. Not yet, but soon. Okay, so that's good. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the oscillator, and I'm gonna do it first. Vibrator, I'm gonna guys. show you how it is. It might vibrate the lens. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a. Uh, gimbal. But you have a gimbal. I it's a gimbal. Okay. Yeah, you can see. It doesn't vibrate. Okay. Good. Cool. <laughs> okay. It's a vibrator. Mm, a powerful one. So the idea is you're gonna be gripping your bolt slightly and putting downward pressure onto it. Clean off your spatula, you're just going to hold it up against your bowl and it'll kind of melt off. Oh, cool. Okay. And then the air bubbles, you see them starting to come up? Uh, kind of. Cool. You're just going to grab your spatula and scrape it across the top. And that's going to minimize the air bubbles in your final pour. Okay. So a little shake, a little wiggle. And the majority of mine are up. It usually takes, you know, anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds for it to for the big bubbles to come up like that. Right. And then I think I'm good. So when you're done, you're just gonna take it off and put your spatula onto the side. Hi, Captain. All right. How and there's a one? method for the madness, always. Like okay, a what? So you're, you're up next. So a slight squeeze, a downward push onto the bowl. I don't know if it's melted. It's melted. Uh huh. Would you like to start where you want in? This is too powerful for me. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm sure there are other sizes. I've, 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 I'm good with the ones I have at home. This is like really strong. <laughs> it's an industrial one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so with your spatula. Yeah. Maybe you, you can't see it on your angle. I just want to drag it across the top. What? Drag that? Yeah, so take this and just kind of drag it across the top oh. just to pop those surface bubbles. Okay. And then when a few more come up, you can drag it right there. Don't take them out to the bathroom. Yeah, he's so cute. I was thinking of getting a um, corgi one day. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. So we live in the neighborhood called City Place, mm -hmm. and it has a huge drug population. So this ward alone has about 7,000 dogs in it. So it's... Everyone almost has a dog. Right. So it's very, very dog friendly. And there's a big dog park right across the street from nice. this building, where all of his little buddies are. Mm -hmm. He has a really good life. Privileged. That is very fantastic. Okay, so I think yours is good. Okay. Come over and do Dunes as well. Oh, okay, I'll stop him from this side. Oh, Ooh, my hand's still vibrating. Is that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at it melt. Isn't that cool? It brings a lot of pleasure doing doing this workshop mm -hmm. through a variety of the steps. So one, making it nice and creamy, bringing all the air up to the surface, just seeing everything kind of melt off the spatula, and then when you mix in the color, mm -hmm. and you get like that purple, uh, or that perfect marbling look that you're going for, you're like, oh, that was gratifying. But maybe that that's just me. It looks cool. Okay. It's kind of like those paint nights, but I think it's a lot better. Oh, you get to take home a live plant. Uh-huh. And right. two uh, planters. One you've made and the other one that uh, has been made for you. Okay, so we're going to shut off this guy for just a second. So okay. the concrete's good. It has a really good mixture, yeah, so we can kind of set it aside. Uh, so next we're going to be mixing our pigment. So this is primarily why we wear the apron. Why? 
because this will dye your clothes. Oh. It's a very effective dye. Okay. Um, because it does dye the concrete. Yeah. So it does dye your skin, your clothing. So is it? It's not permanent, right? I know it's not. If you get it in your skin, it'll take a little while to wash off. It's not that bad. But clothes, it'll <laughs> definitely be on there. So there's there's a couple ways of mixing it. I'm just gonna show you one way. So it's just a little bit of water at a time. Mm-hmm. And the look you're going for is like liquid metal. Ooh. So it's just about stirring it very, very softly. And then we have little sticks that I'm gonna give you, and that's just to make sure that we've caught everything around the bottom edge, and it's all mixed in. Because you don't want dry powder in the mix, because it actually won't um, absorb very well into it. So very softly just comb around the outside edge, making sure that it's all picked up. So that there is done. That's kind of like the consistency. Wow. And this mm -hmm. is what we're going to be dropping into the concrete and then rolling it in so it's like that marble effect. That's cool. Yeah. Pigments are really, really neat. So I'll show you one more time. I'll show you with Dune's color. And if you add too much water, we'll just add more pigments. Very, very sparkly. Yeah. I see. Okay, you're up. Okay. Here's your stick. You got your water? Yep. So just a little bit in at a time. Is that enough? Mm, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it's probably good. And then just start swirling around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going. Maybe a smidge more water. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I'm not good with measuring things. Well, a smidge isn't very accurate, is it? No. It's like when I used to bake with my grandma. Yeah. She would say, oh, just put in about this much. <laughs> my hands are a lot bigger than yours, grandma. What is? Uh-oh. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm bad. Like I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so bad. <laughs> Take that. This is why we have this. I know. Like every <laughs> color like... has been on this eventually. Okay. okay it's so just it's fine. so bad. No, it's absolutely fine. Don't trust me with stuff, guys. Okay, so you're you're good. Everything's. I'm good. Of, I'm everything's good. I'm good. Yeah. It does look like you've sliced your thumb, but you definitely <laughs> have it. Okay. No, I'm good. So. As Dune's taking the dog out, you're going to be my assistant. Okay. And the assistant has a couple of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be controlling the speed at which this is uh, vibrating. Okay. And you're also going to be rotating my mold 25% every time I'm done a scoop. And I'm going to do the same thing for you. Okay. So when you take your cement um, or your uh, concrete out of the bowl and put it in, you don't have to kind of like angle it funny. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be right there for you. Okay. And then the frequency is just turning the knob. Um, if the concrete isn't really flowing into all the nooks and crannies, you're going to be turning that volume up to the right. If it's flowing in super fast, you're going to be you're going to be lowering that frequency. Okay. Because when you put the when you put the pigment in, you're going to be swirling it, and then it's very very little motion. So you don't want this thing vibrating at full blast, because right. then it'll all become just one through a gradient. But you want it marbled, okay. not all one color. Okay. Right? Right. Okay, so I'll move that out of the way. Okay. This is for you. Okay. So we have some teamwork. This is, this is for me. What am I doing? One, two... Yeah, but first I'm going to show you this. So this is how you're adding in your pigment. So it's a, a drop here, drop there, drop there. And that's it. Now when you go to use your spatula to kind of mix it in, just give it one direction and then try to bring some up from the bottom and that's when you start to get that marble effect. Oh cool. 
So that's it. That's all you would do. As I scoop it, I can I can uh, select if I want more white from the bottom or more black from the top. Okay. So if you want to turn that on, uh, the oscillator to about half. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm just going to start with one scoop. Here we go. Do I rotate? Yeah. What? You're a professional. Look at that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I deny all type of skills, credits, whatever. Um, and then when you do see it, an air bubble coming up that's not popping, you just grab the stick and mm. pop up like a blink. That's cool. So it's done. I'm going to slide it off the plate. So that's going to set inside the mold for 24 hours, then I take it out, sand it, seal it, stamp it, put on the little legs, and that dries for the other 24 hours. Are you ready to try? Um, no. <laughs> I can't try mine. It means yes, Yeah, sure. do you want to see Toon do it yes. on me one more time? I do. Hello. Let me just, hold on. There we go. He accidentally cut himself and blood went everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> my hands are like bleeding. <laughs> it was a vicious stick. Do you want a new one? No, yeah, this is good. So, yeah? Your apron? Hacky. No. Very good. How are you? Gosling, down. It's okay. Gosling, down. Hey, Gosling, down. Okay. Pay attention to me. Okay. Okay. Adding in the pigment. <laughs> oh, the dog's horrible. Leave it. Do, do, do. I think he's trying to get the black scoop. He's fine, right? Uh, yeah. This is a nice color, too. Mm -hmm. Liberty Copper. It looks like caramel. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I'm getting kind of hungry right now. Have uh, you said that? No. Okay, so let's pause there. What are you doing? So I'm jiggling it to get that bubble out. Oh. And then I pop it. Luckily, this top is the bottom. So mm -hmm. when you take it out of the mold, you kind of flip it that way. So the bottom doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to eliminate as many air bubbles, bubbles as you can. Because yeah. that's going to give you a better result at the end. Mm -hmm. A lot of air on that corner. And then once it's done, you're like, oh, it's a big one, too big one. Stamps gonna look nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice pattern. Uh huh. That's. I don't know. It's just the bottom. Very shallow one. Okay, last one. <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like, you have to pick a. Okay, what do I do? Okay, so you're gonna be grabbing your pigment. Got it. You're gonna be plopping it in. Got it. Then you're gonna be stirring in one direction, just kind of mix it up. There's my blood. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna pop that aside. Okay. So stir in one direction. At the same time as you're stirring, kind of bring the stuff from the bottom up to the top. Yes. Okay, and you're gonna stop. Okay. That's perfect. So okay. as you're scooping it, you can dictate how much red or how much white goes into that particular area. Okay. 
do 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 that's fun uh huh I agree I honestly do not know what I'm doing this is exactly what nice. I do so congratulations yay oh is that it or do I put more definitely more yeah okay so we're gonna do it until it's like it's a hair just or maybe at the actual top of the silicone mold. Okay. So you just keep kind of spinning it and twisting it until it's all filled up. Melting. It's kind of like ice cream on a hot day, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think he's trying to get that black scoop. If I take that scoop out of there, mm -hmm. it should be fine. Other oh, dog is adorable. Maybe another scoop or two. Just to uh, bring it up to the top. Okay. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, so let's see what that does. Okay. Oh, this is for you to do. What do I do? The four corners, thub, thub, thub. Oh, right. And then a little left, right, up and down. Or forwards and backwards, rather. Okay. Uh huh. Do I continue? Yep. A little, a little bit more. Um, I think it's pretty good. I, think I don't so see too. any big air bubbles coming up. So, congratulations. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, I hope this is. Look at this collection. Oh, hi! Hey, How are you, you, Goslin? It's a beautiful collection. But, um, I need more colors. I have a big bell paw. It's like a tree on the corner. There. I see that, yeah. yeah. It's really cool. That's their collection. Lovely. You got up here too? Yeah, those are mostly for the workshop. Oh, I have ah. my, I have my, uh... So which one do you like the most out of, like, the whole... I have my, uh... Your propagation yeah, tray. Yeah, propagation tray. How's that going? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I like the um, the pink moonstone. Yeah. Pink moonstone, that one. Where's the? Uh... I only have one here, and I just got it. Oh, that's. Yeah. Okay, so it's a winter grower. Uh huh. So it's gonna grow in the winter time when there's cooler temperature. Yeah, and I have this one, but I don't think it's a pink moonstone. I think it's a different one because this one? I actually just get like purple. Oh, those my are uh, those are um, just the regular ones. They're not even moonstones. Oh, yeah, yeah. those are Pachyphytum olivarium. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. that one. They're yeah. just the regular ones. That's fine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I kind of remember all of them. Um, I have really good memory. That's my problem. I couldn't. I um, only. Yeah, I couldn't remember it's all like, like Latin, right? Yeah, I couldn't yeah. remember any of the Latin name. I have this one at home too. This is an Echeveria, mm -hmm. uh, Rubella. I also can't like this one now because it have color on it. Yeah, Polydonis. Yeah. And I just got this one not too long ago, this one. A Canty? I, I don't I know. I think so. It's a small one. No, no, no it's, not, it's not a Canty. I don't know. It's like, I just got that two weeks ago. That's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. I also like the um, these kind. Ooh, the Haworthias. Yeah, I like those. They're expensive, but like I, I barely see anyone sell those. Oh, there's tons of people selling them. Really? Not, not in like shops. You have to go into the groups and stuff yeah. like that, uh, or you have to order them online, right? I want to go get the one. It's like this, but it's like um, like a square, squareish, a like, roundish, like. Like this is like a roundish. I think it's called more. It's a Haworthia. Yeah. yeah, it's a Haworthia, but it's. Mirror like... balls? No, it's like monkey or something. Oh, yeah, I, I know what they are. Yeah. yeah, the more color those get, the more expensive they get. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the problem. Yeah. yeah. Start manipulating it. So, this okay. is the point of the workshop where Dune or I would instruct how to how to plant, but I think you're. Uh... No, I'm, I'm not good. I just shove everything in. How do I do this? You just shove it off. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so, so I just shove everything in. So we just put these on the scoop. bottom and then this just on the like top. Like the scooper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. whatever. Whatever works. Okay, am I doing this? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing it fine. I think you're playing now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the... A lot of people are... At this stage, you're so gentle. Really? You're like afraid of damaging. Oh. And like, come on, hustle, hustle. Hustle, Don't hustle, hustle man. Come hustle, on. hustle. Okay. Maybe I'll leave. Oh. That's okay. That's why we have the yep. cover. Okay. I'm Gucci. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool. Oh, and a little. How do, how do I do, guys? I think you did. Uh, do I get an A? That's cute. That, this is what we use for dusting. <laughs> and then we just put the thing on the top. Akadama. Yeah, Akadama on the top. Oh. You want a spoon. I'm sorry. Those make the best shovels. Yeah. So instead of scooping tea leaves, just scoop your succulent mixes. It's so pretty. It's like icing on the cake, isn't it? It is, just, yeah. It just finishes so nicely. Ta-da! Yeah, let me mold this one. Cowboy. <laughs> it's like I a have, piece of art. Cowboy. Right. It's a piece of art. Yay! Would you like to blow it? <laughs> I would if it's seven or eight inches. Sure, why not? You have no idea what we talk about on Discord. <laughs> And that's it. So at the end of the workshop, people leave with that. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, this is, a, this is a guest that came a couple of nights ago. So it gets wrapped up, packaged, and I pop it in the mail for them. Or right. if they're local, they just swing by and we have a chat and they pick it up. That is pretty neat. Yeah, so that's that's the workshop. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, no problem. Um, thanks for having me. So, if you guys are interested in their workshop, I'll leave the link down below. Uh, they're local in Toronto. Um, do you have time? Oh, no, you can book them on the website, right? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's whole like an Airbnb thing. calendar, dates, time, everything is there. Yeah. It's all pretty neat. That's pretty. Mm. It's one of our newer shapes and it's been doing very well. 